Hey, what is up? How are you guys doing today? Before we start this video today, I just have something like we gotta go back because I forgot about something. So pretty much in my recent videos, I did the whole giveaway thing where I gave away a bunch of stuff and a couple different videos, but I actually forgot something. So that's kind of good for you guys. I mean, if you didn't win in the other giveaways, you still have another chance to win. Basically, the reel that I'm going to be giving away is the reel that I got in my Bass Pro Shops Fishing Challenge video. Somehow I actually ended up with two of these. I'm not really sure how, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna be giving it away to one of you guys, and the second one I'll probably give away too, like in a future video. I'm telling you guys, man, once we hit 100,000 subscribers, there's gonna be some crazy giveaways but yeah anyway to enter for the shimano spinning reel all you have to do is comment like and subscribe and i do check guys believe me i use this automated program which basically picks a random winner and pretty much if you do not like this video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment you're just not gonna win that's exciting another giveaway for you guys another chance to win you just have to enter All right, y'all, now let's get into this video for today. As you guys can probably tell from the title, we are gonna be doing another survival fishing challenge. So as you guys know, I did do a survival fishing challenge with just a knife. I also did a survival fishing challenge with no lures and no bait, paying homage to my man One Rod, wherever he is. To be honest with you guys, filming those videos was probably like the most fun I've ever had filming videos. And you guys really seem to like those, so I'm definitely excited about today. So let me break it down for you guys, kind of what we're gonna be doing here. All right, so today I'm gonna be putting myself out here in a survival situation where all I have is this one tool. Here's a look at the tool. It's kind of like a survival multi multi-tool shovel kit thing. I actually got it in a white elephant this past Christmas, so it's definitely gonna be interesting to put it to the test here today. Pretty much the scenario that I'm gonna be putting myself in here today is that maybe I was camping, maybe I was going for a hike in the woods, but the only thing that I had with me was the survival shovel multi-tool. We're gonna see if we can use just this multi-tool here to help us survive, help us catch some fish. That is all that we're gonna have. We don't have anything else to help us. I mean, you could say that we have a phone, that's pretty realistic, but out here in the middle of the wilderness, we don't get any cell phone reception. So our first priority here, at least for this video, is going to be to find some food. I I mean, really honestly we could go lion king style and just start eating bugs and worms and everything we found in logs but for the sake of this video and for the sake of our survival skills that we don't have our first objective here today is to catch a fish let's get right into it all right guys let's get this started we are on a mission i swear every time i do one of these survival fishing challenges i feel like bear grills but here we go this is our tool for the day as you can see it has kind of like these uh spiky things and it also has this and i think you could actually turn this something like this uh, i'm not sure maybe like this and it becomes a pick. I, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it this way for now, as you guys see made in China. Feels like a quality product. I mean, I'm not sure how much is actually retailed for. Hopefully it just doesn't like snap on us. Cause if we were really out here and this just, uh, I don't know. Now, before I get started with anything in the comments below guys, really quickly, just let me know if you guys were in this situation and this here was your only tool. You have no rod, no lures, no line, anything like that. What would you do? How would you catch some fish with this? Definitely let me know in the comments below. That'll be really interesting to read. All right, let's get started here. Now, let me tell you guys what I was thinking at first. So basically when you do this and uh, you kind to put the multi-tool like that maybe there's a way to tighten this i don't even know if this thing came with directions but basically my first idea i mean this is kind of sharp ish right there so i was thinking maybe i could like use this as a spear or something the problem with that though is that i could not really find a way to like lock this and i mean the water's really cold i mean it's pretty warm out here today but it's been extremely extremely cold here especially at night so i'm guessing that this water is going to be really cold so our first priority probably is not going to be to get wet hypothermia you know not like the most fun thing so spear idea is out the window now this thing right here is kind of like a saw that could be useful as I really started to think about how to catch a fish, I just went back to the basics. Now, although I do not have a rod or any line or anything like that, I'm going to go back here to these logs and I'm just going to use the shovel kind of like a shovel, you know? At this point, I am pretty much a genius. Let's see if we can get anything up. Yep, there's one. Oh, there's a couple worms in here. Boom. Oh, yep. This down here is just loaded with worms. You got to be careful though. Areas like this are just probably home to many things you don't want. Oh. There's a big one that I got a hold of. Okay. All right, now one of the cool things about this shovel thing here is that it actually came with this little uh, carrying case thing. So I'm just gonna pop these worms in here just like that. I have nice three juicy worms. There we go, nice little worm carrying compartment. All right, so there we go, we have bait. That was extremely easy. All right, well, if nothing else works out for us here today, at least we know that our shovel works like a shovel so uh that's good all right so when you're out here in these situations this kind of feels like a video game or whatever you just got to keep thinking what's the next move what's the next move and this is really where you got to start thinking i mean i do not have a rod a reel or line now one option that i do have is walk down this water see if i can get lucky see if any fishermen have been here in the past and see if they have left anything i mean honestly even if you are out remotely in the woods you could be near somebody's super top secret fishing spot and they could have left some trash behind but in this case treasure so that's option number one we could get out here we could scavenge not really sure if we'll find anything and that could be just a big waste of time and energy 
energy. Now, actually, another thing that I've seen people do, whether it's a survival situation or they're just trying to get some fish to eat, in shallow water like this, I've seen it happen before where people get a rock. If you throw the rock hard and accurate enough, you could stun the fish, kill them, whatever. That's another option, but I really don't feel like killing any fish today. I'm not going to be actually catching and cooking anything out of here, at least not today. This is all just kind of like scenario type stuff, you know? But we are going to be trying to catch some fish. Another option if I had like a sharper object or maybe like a knife or something and not this, I could try to maybe like woodcraft a hook. I have definitely seen people do that before. I've tried it before and it's just i'm not gonna do that today but that is another option holy crap guys i think i see the biggest crawfish that i've ever seen in this water here oh no ran away guys i wish you could see how big this crawfish was all right well originally i was not going to be going after crawfish here that dude was elusive he went under this big rock all right i wonder if i could use this shovel here He's under this giant rock. All right, guys. Well, while I was chasing that big crawfish, I happened to notice that there are some of these like clam shells in here. I mean, I guess these are like freshwater creek clams or something. I'm not exactly sure. I know nothing about this. I always see the shells around, but this one looks like it's still alive. So in the comments below, definitely let me know if you can, uh, I guess, eat these guys. I'm guessing you could just throw these in a pot of boiling water and eat them. I guess it has to do with how clean the water is. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys have any knowledge of these freshwater clams. I'm gonna throw this guy back. So that is definitely an option. Tank, guys, I got freaking sidetracked here. Oh, guys, I freaking see him. Holy crap. I missed him. All right, flip the whole rock over. That thing is freaking heavy, dude. All right, come on, man. I got stuff to do here. Well, all right, guys, that was not a... Uh, actually, what the heck? All right, so as I was just walking up... Where did this thing go? Right here. Boom, under this like dock thing I found, I don't know what exactly liquid is in there. But, all right, that's actually pretty cool. What I'm going to do with that, get one of these worms that we got in here. All right, guys, basically I'm gonna chop this little worm up right here. I'm gonna put them in this bottle just like this. All I'm gonna do, all right, there we go. That'll be like a little, hopefully crawfish trap. Maybe they'll go into there and eat the worms. I don't know if that's even gonna work or not. But, hey man, it's worth a try. That's actually pretty cool that I found that under here. Littering is not cool guys, but I mean, if you are in a survival situation, sometimes that could be, uh, I guess the difference between dinner and no dinner. All right, so our trap is over there in the water. Now we have to get back to our objective. I mean, I spent, I don't even know how long I spent over there. That giant crawfish was taunting me, man. Actually, let's look down here. Any fishing stuff at all around here. It's definitely some slippery mud. Holy crap. Is that fishing? Is that fishing line or is that? Is this freaking fishing line? No freaking way. What the heck? Look at this. This is like stuck to this. Like, holy crap, man. This is freaking awesome. All right. So there we go. Um, oh, there's more up here. Literally, like, look, this is like, what is going on? It's like, oh, yo, it's literally coming out of the water, too. What is going on here? Dude, somebody got their crap all tangled up. This is actually really, really good for us. Right, I'm just going to keep pulling this up. Yo, if there's a hook on the end of this, all right, keep pulling this up. Yo, if there's a hook on the end of this, please be a freaking hook. Like, I understand that I'm not out in the middle of nowhere, but just to, like, need something and to just find it. All right. Um, all right. There's no hook on this. All right, guys. Well, we could add this to our inventory. This is freaking awesome, man. Somebody just saved my freaking life today. Last time that I did not have wine in one of these survival fishing challenges, basically, I had to use like a vine, a lanyard. Like, that was just a mess. But this thing is completely tangled. This is also a mess. Oh, gosh. All right, there we go. All right, so we now have some untangled line right here. I'm gonna try to use this as my fishing line. I also have some remnants of the, like, the other piece of line. It's all in the tangle, but that can still be used. The objective now, however, is like I have bait, I have line, but how do I get the fish without a hook? I was extremely, extremely lucky to actually stumble across some line. Like at the first spot I looked, there was some line right there. I don't think I can get much luckier than that. I could look around for a hook. I could also try to make one. I don't know, man. All right, we do not have like a lot, a lot of time here to waste. I mean, the sun is on its way down kind of. So I'm gonna go to spot that look like they're good fishing spots see if there's any hooks on the ground i mean if there is lying around there's got to be people fishing here so if i keep walking down i keep looking in different spots maybe i'll get lucky maybe i'll even find like a lure maybe like a spinner or anything i don't know man let's get right to it though we have no time to waste here By the way, guys, as I'm walking around, I've not really found anything yet. But you might be asking yourself, like, so far, is this really, like, worth it? What does this really do for us? I mean, it does work as a shovel, and that is, uh, that's kind of it so far. I mean, it's better than nothing, especially when you're walking around, like, if you're in the middle of the forest. I mean, there's bears, there's snakes. You gotta have something to protect you. I mean, sure, this isn't, like, a sword or, like, a gun or anything. But I'm telling y'all, man, let a bear try to run up on me. Fulfill the wrath of the shovel. All right, guys, there is some wine in this tree right here. I'm gonna try to, oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, yep, just some more line, no hooks or anything. Dang it, man. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, so after a long, long time, I mean, I've been at this probably for like, I don't even know how long. Yes, I am still looking for a hook and I actually just found one. So what made this kind of difficult, there are just so many leaves around. I mean, it is fall and right here by this rock, it's like actually pretty hard to see. 
Um, let me get it out here. Boom, there we go. We have found one rusty hook to add to our inventory. I, oh my gosh. Now I understand that I'm not like in the middle of nowhere and the chances of finding something like this in the middle of nowhere are significantly like decreased. But this is pretty cool, man. Just like finding old stuff that people have just left around. I guess they maybe lost it or something. All right, so now I'm going to tie this hook onto uh, that fishing line that was not tangled. Hopefully it's still not tangled. All right, let's do our best to uh, tie a good knot here because I don't know what our chances of finding another hook are. I can't even get this through. There's so much dirt in here. All right, branch, poke a hole through this. There we go. This is actually insane though. I do not know what I was gonna do if I could not find one of these hooks. All right, guys, now we are rolling here. We have line, we have a hook, we have a shovel. All right, now we just gotta find the fish here. Now I'm guessing this would be a pretty good spot over here under this cover. I'm gonna dig into our little bag here. Juicy night crawler. All right, man, everything is starting to come together right now. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. Hopefully this line is long enough to actually reach the water. I'm gonna put this night crawler on here just like that. All right, I'm just gonna chuck this thing in here. All right, there we go. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I just uh, dropped the... All right, we gotta go get that. All right, I got it. All right, well actually, since we're down here, this is probably a better spot anyway. Let's catch us a fish. Oh yeah, getting bit. Somebody have it? Oh yeah, come here, buddy. Let's go! First fish of the day on the freaking survival fishing setup. Boom! There we freaking go, guys. That is how you do it. Survival challenge. A nice little blue go, guys. I'm just literally so happy right now. Coming out here having no expectations of if this video is gonna work or not. I mean, everything could fail. It happens a lot in my videos, to be honest. Things do not always go my way, but today, oh man, that is just awesome. If we were out here in the wilderness, we would have some dinner to eat tonight. I mean, granted, it is a pretty small sunfish, but oh! and we would have just lost our dinner. I am so freaking happy about that. Guys, if you did not already, please go down there and hit that thumbs up button if you are enjoying this video, man. There's another bite. He didn't take it. Oh, something's got it. Something has it. There we go. Second fish of the day, come here. This is a little bit bigger size. What do we have here? Please don't pop off. All right, here we go, guys. Second species of the survival fishing challenge. Little red breast sunfish here. I mean, if we were eating tonight, we'd have some options here, man. A nice little sunfish buffet. All right, let's let this little guy go. I'm also on the track. I've been hunting this largemouth, man. He keeps eating it. He keeps spitting it. Come on, let's get at least one more species here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I got a giant sunfish on here. Oh my gosh. Come here, buddy. Oh, guys, look at how freaking beautiful this is right here. I'm pretty, pretty sure that this is a pumpkin seed, but just like, oh my gosh, look at those freaking colors. As you guys can probably see though, it has like all these little black dots all over it. Yeah, those are, uh, oh, yeah, those are parasites. So it looks like this guy is not doing too good. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, I almost just slid in freaking water on this mud. All right, all right, buddy, you're gonna get both of us in trouble here. But yeah, guys, it looks like this guy has a ton of parasites all over him. So in a survival situation, I would not eat this guy. Let's get him back in the water. That is like such an awesome catch though. That is our third species of the day. All right, guys, well, if these were the supplies that we had, I mean, I know that I have a heavy supply of night crawlers. And as long as I have this one hook with me, I know that I could keep catching fish here. Yeah, guys, that is just so cool. That was just so much fun. So like go around here and scavenge for like supplies. It's almost like we're playing like Fallout or something. But here we go. This was the uh, only tool we really had for the day. Was it very useful? Um, let's go check our little crawfish trap. I'm gonna try not to be too loud here. All right, let me pour this out and see if we have anything in here. Well, we got some worms in there. <laughs> maybe if I left it in longer, maybe overnight or something. <laughs> it's all good, man. As long as we have our necessities and we can stay catching those fish, we're gonna be all right. Guys, that is going to be it here for this video today. A lot of fun. I plan on doing more of these survival fishing challenge videos. You guys seem to like them. I really enjoy doing them as well. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for future videos in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for all the support, man. It is just insane. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway for this video. Remember, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. I just got some Chick-fil-A. I'm about to go up in here and edit this video. Thank you guys so much again for all of the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next video.